Kavadi. Because Esau's rulership is going to be in the grave. That's how it's spoken poetically like that. There are going to be worms and such like that. And what's that mean? Something's rotting and decayed and has died. So the cleaner ups, such as the worms, are coming to break it down more and turn it back into right. mulch. Basically, basically, everything that, that he's about is going to be dead, man. All, that, all these different agendas, his society, his rulership, all the things that he put together to, to, to bring to life, which is dead in life. Like, it's living and it's dead, man. The, the walking dead. Right, you know, so everything, all his pride, his pump, you know, can't nobody take me down. All that shit, man, gonna be out of the earth, man. Because it needs to be. It, it does no justice to this place, man. All it do is just put everything in a bad position. Kind of, we got a quick precept for that in Isaiah 13 and 11. Isaiah 13, Isaiah 13 and 11, I don't know why I was trying to look at the scripture. Isaiah 13 and 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. So you Edomites are going to know that you ain't, you, you ain't about anything and you ain't shit. You're, there's no, there's going to be no doubt about it. All these other nations, again, are going to look at you like, is this the man that ruled the nations in anger? Because they're going to see us putting our foot over you, and it's going to be an astounding sight to them. Yep. And we're going to make sure you don't have any pride in the kingdom. We're going to beat you down that low into the dirt. That's right. It says... I'll just add one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going back to 14. Okay. It says, uh, for Isaiah 14 and 12, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, you know, and we we go into that all the time, man. Lucifer means Lucifer basically means light bearer, man. Mm -hmm. And on the left hand side, Esau is the light bearer at this time because he has the information that that he he feel he's the most insightful one on this side because he has the money, he has the he's in the power, he's seat. in the power, right? He's in the policy, so he feel like he has the most understanding. You know, and he thinks that since the Most High hadn't done anything to him now, if he even believes in the Most High, which the elites do, but the average Edomite out here thinks, well, if they haven't done anything to us yet, then that must mean we're uh, on the right track. Yep, yep. It says, "Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which diddest weaken the nations?" Mm -hmm. And we got a precept for that. Just going in a little more onto who this wicked is in Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three. Showing that this isn't this isn't a Lucifer that most people think it is, where it's the spiritual demon who's out, who's a fallen angel or that kind of madness around here, roaming around the earth, making people do bad. Which Satan is he is the spiritual demon Satan is on the earth. Uh, well, he, his spirit is in the earth, uh, working through the people to make them do wickedness, but he's not doing it of his own free will. Mm -hmm. If you go to Job chapter 1, you'll see that Satan works for the Most High. Yeah. Think about it like Slugworth and Willy Wonka. That's right. He has no free will of his own. Nothing has any free will of its own. It's all through the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh That's right. That's right. And for anybody that think that, you are absolutely deceived, man. Because ain't no free will, like the bro said. It says, uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be there except there come a falling away first, and that and and that men of sin be revealed in the son of perdition. And we're in that times right now where there's a great falling away. You're seeing all these people that used to be in GMS or just in the truth in general bug out and go back into the world and then come against us. And we're finally seeing who this uh this man of sin and the son of perdition is you Edomites because with us pushing out these videos the whole world's starting to see your fuckery they're seeing how wicked you are and that you're the root cause of all the problems in that's this right, earth that's right that's right it says who oppressed it who opposed it Shalakia who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh God or that is worship so that he as God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And who is that? Esau, you can see it uh, with Christianity, with that image of Caesar Borgia on like that kind of level, but also through his science and technology, 
he's got all these people to see thinking that this must be this must be the god of the earth because look he's got nuclear weapons he's creating all these like genetic things he's changing our whole way of being in life and also he's taken over the world he's taken over our nations and we're subject unto him so he must be the power sure it says for the mystery of iniquity doeth already work only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way mm -hmm. and then shall the wicked be revealed there's that word again wicked which we know uh, pursuant to Malachi 1 and 4 the Edomites whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming which is uh, the, the subject of the topic of this lesson of Isaiah chapter 14 of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and in the rulership of Esau the so called white man even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Because these Edomites, just like the Most High has his children, which you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the spiritual demon Satan has his children working his will on the planet Earth, which you Edomites, you so-called white people. And it's, no, and it's not hard to believe now, because just look at, look at the world we're in. Families are broken. They're pushing pedophilia. Drug use is normalized. Homosexuality is normalized. Just being a complete reprobate, wicked, brute beast monster is just, oh, it's just, it's the way humans are supposed to live. And I got a quick thing. And uh, when you go to the Strong's Concordance and you go, go to the, the definition for that word working in 2 Thessalonians chapter 9 verse uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 9, mm -hmm. it's Strong's G1753 or energia, 